Previously on John Hankey leaking future updates for Pokemon Go. And finally with Pokemon Go, we're only getting started with the game. We just launched our first major update of 2017. We introduced 80 new Pokemon into the game. Uh, and we have three major new releases uh, for Pokemon Go mapped out for this year. This is big news. John Hank, AKA the CEO of Niantic, just hinted to three major updates coming out this year. We just clap it up for John Hankey for a minute. If you guys don't remember, that clip was basically him sneak peeking at three more major updates coming out this year. Well, he basically said that they were on a quarterly update system, so we'd get an update every three months. We already got the first update, which was Gen 2, so now there's three more major ones coming 2017. And today, in an interview with Wired, he leaked some really big stuff. Well, I guess not leaked, he hinted at him. See, now when Sylph Road or Pokemon Go Hub comes out with a leak or sneak peek, it's pretty exciting. But when the Niantic CEO, John Hankey, says something, it's gonna happen whether it's in the code or not. And I think the most major thing that he leaked in this article was the next major update for Pokemon Go. Wow. You would think, you know, being the CEO, he'd like drop a little sneak peek like, oh, we're working on this. But he's like, no, straight up, dude. Next update, this is what we're doing. <laughs> next update, by the way, will drop in the April, May to June month. So today, for today's video, we're going to be talking about the next new update for Pokemon Go, along with some other very, very, very important stuff that John Hank hinted at during this interview. I know his name is John Hankey, and I keep saying Hank, so I'm sorry about that. Now, the next clip you see is going to be the next major update in Pokemon Go. Are you ready? All right, Mystic, let's do it. Boom! Gym battles. Now before you think to yourself, oh this video is only about gym battles, I'm leaving. Uh, wait, I know. I know you saw the Mewtwo in the thumbnail, hold on. There are very exciting things to talk about in today's video, along with gym battles, aka the new next big update for Pokemon Go. We're actually going to go over and take those two gyms first, because the topics that I want to talk about, I'm going to probably yell about. Because I get excited about things and I yell, okay? Sue me. So we're probably going to yell in the car. I'm going to try to <laughs> keep the more, more exciting stuff in here. Mainly so I can scream like a maniac without people looking at me funny. So with that being said, let's talk about this John Hankey interview and the next big update for Pokemon Go. It is like an incredibly nice day today. Oh, one more thing. Also, we have a little bit of a shout out right here. Throw it Wait, up there. I'm Minimat33 and he's Ice and Ice. Boom. Shout out to these two bros. It was a B. We also have a golem just chilling right here, which is super random because yesterday we got a, well, you'll see it in tomorrow's video. We caught something right here too yesterday and 1692 also, I'm sorry, the sun is just like murdering my face right now. I promise the entire video won't be like this. I couldn't find a shady spot to sit down and record, so we're getting, uh, we're getting tan today. This is, <laughs> I haven't seen a wild golem in a while. <laughs> this park is really good. This park, by the way, is the park that I caught my first ever quillfish here and it's been a quillfish nest since Gen 2 came out. So this is like the plug for quillfish. And we got the golem. Nice. Let's check them. We got 1692 with rock throw and rock blast. IVs are terrible. I did get though a good IV cool fish here, which is kind of cool. But now let's go in on this level 10 Valor gym that has a just incredibly OP lineup and talk about just all the exciting stuff for today. And we're going to be battling this gym with a very Gen 2 heavy army minus Machamp and got to bring DFA to gym battle. So we've talked about this before, but at the beginning of the interview, basically Hanky said that there were a lot of things that needed to be fixed with Pokemon Go before any major updates dropped. Oh my god. Okay, we need to talk and focus at the same time because I just got hyper beamed to death. What is happening right now? Okay, thank you, Jesus. After Niantic dropped all the fixing updates, then they dropped Generation 2. So the game's fixed. They got all the updates they needed to get out, out. Now they can start doing big things, which they are sneak peeking to now. I'm also not dodging at all this entire gym, and I'm gonna get ran. Now remember that Niantic is on a quarterly update schedule, so every three months, they drop an update, a big update. Obviously the first update of the year, the January to March update, was Generation 2. How, dude, I freaking hyper beamed before he hydro pumped. Are you serious? The next update that's gonna come between April and June is gonna be the gym battle update, which I'm super excited about because if you see right now, this is all battling is in Pokemon Go. It's just tapping and dodging and holding down the screen. The gym battle system is just a really, really stale system at the moment. You know what, I'm trying to battle this gym and talk about this at the same time and it's not working. And during the interview with Wired, John Hankey said this about the second update. Oh, we lost against the gym. Nice, that was quick. There are some construction sites. One of them refers to the team game and the arenas. We delivered that in a form that was incomplete. We know from Ingress that cooperation and planning are a lot of fun when people have a common goal it is a strong incentive to meet with friends or get together with people you do not know. The arenas simply do not work as well as we want. Direct quote 
from John Hank. And as you could probably tell from my frustration over these past couple months with the gym battles and just kind of how stale they are, I definitely agree. See, so, you now what John Hankey really wants and what I really want with this game is for it to just be less stale in general, and that goes from battling gyms to like the actual dynamics of the game. Because right now, really, the only thing to do in Pokemon Go is catch Pokemon, fill your Pokedex, evolve things, and battle the gym, which is just super duper basic. That's kind of the point of every Pokemon, but like it's super basic. It's a basic version in this game. Dragon Claw, no. Oh. So John Hankey and Niantic both want to make Pokemon Go more than just throwing balls at Pokemon or tapping your screen when you're in a gym. And that's why they want to introduce like a competitive aspect to the whole gym battling scene and give more incentive for people to want to go out and battle gyms. Because really the only thing that makes people want to go battle gyms is one, being able to hold down a gym and two, being able to farm Pokecoins. But as we all know, farming Pokecoins from gym battling is a super duper tedious job that's really hard to keep doing. Especially when every gym's a level 10 around you like these ones and they all have Dragonites and Gyarados and it's not easy. Also bringing a teamwork aspect into that that gets people together and motivates people to play together and more, that's gonna make the game a lot better. Because like with every multiplayer game, when you can battle together or cooperate together to complete a common goal, people find that more interesting and more fun. See now, John Hankey not only gave what the next update is gonna be, he talked about what's happening in the future of Pokemon Go and things we might see coming 2017, which is incredibly exciting. Also, how about this Espeon, huh? This is a sneak peek into a future video. There we go. Oh, Psychic versus Gary, <laughs> yeah, boy. Sakura, Espeon for the win. Actually, a bench over there just opened up with shade. We're going. Now, another remark John Hank actually made about the gym battle system is there is very limited gameplay in the arenas. They simply do not work as well as we would wish. We will still rework this aspect of the game so that there will be more teamwork and people will get more incentive and reward for participating. So even John Hankey knows that the gym battle system is a little bit stale. I'm pretty sure everyone in Niantic kind of feels that because, again, it's just tap, dodge, tap, dodge. Although it's fun for you guys because you get to watch me rage when uh, my dodges don't work. But there's a lot more that can be done with the gym battle system and I'm gonna have a video in the future talking about an update idea that I have that is gonna just be the greatest thing that would ever come to Pokemon Go, but I don't know if they'd implement it, but it'd be awesome. There's just so much potential with the gym battles and with what you could do as a company with them, especially when it comes to competitions and even MLG type stuff. Yeah, I just said Pokemon Go MLG. Now I would keep battling this gym, but the next couple things we have to talk about are like extra super very exciting and we're gonna get in the car for that because I wanna yell. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about this next little bit. Now, don't get me wrong, the gym battling news is incredibly exciting because I just, I mean, I, I've been battling gyms, I've been trying to keep it fun, and I'm gonna try to find more ways to keep gym battling fun, but it is really boring, especially when dodging doesn't work, because then you wanna jump off a cliff. So everything we just talked about will most likely be the next major update coming between April and June. Actually, it will be, because John Hankey said so. <laughs> if the CEO of Niantic says something's happening, it's happening. That's the motto of today's video. It's really hard, by the way, to commentate and battle the gym at the same time because I am not focusing on the battle at all. I can't wait to get more high CP Gen 2 Pokemon so we can use them in gym battles. It's gonna be really fun, actually. God, though, the ideas that I have for gym battling and how to, like, make it the most just beast thing ever in gaming, pff, you have no idea. Bro, I've got ideas, fam. Niantic needs to hit me up because I got some ideas. But screw my ideas because John Hankey was asked what the future of Pokemon Go after this second update of the year will be like. And he said, for the two releases that follow, we are pushing the most diverse features back and forth to define the final goals. The developers at Niantic would think a lot about how players can exchange monsters and fight each other. Why does Hydro Pump do so much damage on a Dragonite? F you! And you heard it right there. That's trading. That's trading and PvP that were hinted. He said, what did he say? They said how players can exchange monsters. That's trading. I don't know why they're using monsters. This is a, it was a German article, like translated. So some of the verbiage might be like a little bit weird. But how players can exchange monsters, aka trading, and then battle against each other, which is PvP battling. So my original predictions for the updates for 2017 went obviously Gen 2, and then breeding, and then Gen 3, and then PvP. I was wrong. It's looking like it's gonna be Gen 2 possibly PvP or gym battle rework. Gen 3 is gonna have to come out over the summer. I guarantee you that's happening. And then possibly trading coming in the fourth quarter. That's a really exciting stuff. John Hankey is the god of Pokemon Go leaks, dude, I swear. <laughs> now here is the most exciting stuff we're gonna talk about this entire video. The gym battle rework is awesome. The trading, the PvP stuff is awesome. This is the crazy stuff. When asked about legendary Pokemon in Pokemon Go, John Hankey, the Niantic CEO, said this. I can safely say we'll see more of it this year. He could not have been more secretive about the answer to that question, but he basically just said we can expect or should expect legendary, including Mew and Mewtwo, possibly coming to Pokemon Pokemon Go 2017. And actually, at the moment, Niantic is hiring an event organizer, basically someone who can put together these legendary events, because legendaries can't drop unless big events are happening. That's how they're gonna drop the legendaries in Mew Mewtwo. There's gonna be big events. So right now, they're looking for someone to hire to help coordinate these big events. 
Oh my god, dude. Why does that do so much damage? He just two hit me. So basically, 2017, we are guaranteed Generation 3. And no, nobody said Generation 3, but I, I'm saying it's coming out. Trust me. Gym battle rework because this is really boring. PvP battling and trading. And now also legendaries, including Mew and Mewtwo, possibly. John Hankey was super duper just really secretive about the whole legendary thing. He, I, he didn't want to give too much away. And that's something that he probably doesn't want to leak too hardcore, which I can definitely understand. But he kind of did a little bit there. So dude, 2017. Legendaries. Next topic, we're going to talk about something I am extremely passionate about that you guys all know I'm extremely passionate about, and we're going to get very passionate about and loud during it. The reason why I'm getting so loud is because I woke up very early this morning, I have a lot of energy, and I'm in my car and I can scream. Let me first see how far we can get in this gym without, like, dying, which I am going to do right here. Steelix, no. Oh, is that it? Is that game? Okay, there we go, we lost. During this interview, the topic of spoofing and cheating in Pokemon Go was brought up, and that's something that we talked about recently. I think we all know what spoofing and cheating entails in Pokemon Go. It's just like being able to control your player and walk around and catch Pokemon, like teleport yourself to put It's cheating, it's, it's BS. No! Ah! And when asked about the cheating issue, John Hankey said this, I do not believe it's a user's fault if an app or website offers an abbreviation. It is our responsibility to prevent these things or not make them harder than they are at the moment. It is our responsibility to prevent cheating. John Hank, 2017, President of the United States of America. I will apply, I will stop battling each and applaud that. It is our responsibility to stop that shiz. And it's not just our responsibility as the developers and as Niantic, it's our responsibility as players in the YouTube community to help stop that too. And if you guys remember, we did a big part of that with taking out all the clickbait from Pokemon Go. Not all of it, there's still a little bit left. We'll get those guys though, we'll, we'll get them. See now John Hankey's like any other guy, any other dad. He likes to go out and play Pokemon Go with his kid and he cannot imagine why people want to ruin that part of the game. Well it's because people want to go out and catch all the rare Pokemon and like not have to leave their house. Because typically with video games you do not have to leave your house. So when talking about the cheaters he said, I wish they would not. They destroy themselves by cheating the greatest fun of the game. The reward of Pokemon Go is to get movement and see parts of the world you have not yet visited. I completely agree Mr. Mr. Hankey. Let's run it back a little bit and talk about the clickbait, the cheating, and all that stuff. The number one source of showing people how to hack Pokemon Go, how to do all these spoofing and cheating, is YouTube. FSUATL. Extreme Games. Two people who are still uploading clickbait. Two people who are still uploading guides on how to cheat in Pokemon Go. If you want to take away the cheating problem, knock it out at the source, Niantic. All you gotta do is email these guys or go to YouTube and be like, listen, these dudes cannot post their content anymore. Get them the hell out of here. That is going to 100% begin fixing the problem with spoofing. Because when someone wants to spoof and when someone wants to hack the game and cheat, they go straight to YouTube. They go on YouTube and look up how to cheat in Pokemon Go and then they find the videos from FSU and from Extreme Games. I don't know if David TV or Master Saint have any hack videos left. I hope not. It's that easy to fix though. I know obviously, you know, banning these guys off of YouTube wouldn't completely solve this issue, but it's definitely going to help a lot because they get hundreds of thousands, if not millions of views of individual people looking up how to hack. That's hundreds of thousands of people learning how to hack simply from watching a YouTube video that could have been taken down and prevented by Niantic. John Hankey, if you want, if you're really serious about getting rid of spoofing and hacking in Pokemon Go, take it out at the source. Infiltrate the dealer and find the supplier. You know what I'm saying? Also, Dragonite versus Slowking. We're gonna take this out. Hope you guys are enjoying this gym footage, by the way, because because I figured I use a bunch of like Gen 2 Pokemon that probably not a lot of people have. Uh, so it's more interesting, even though you know I'm not really focusing on the battle itself. And then they talked a little bit more about why Pokemon Go dropped so early, kind of before it was really ready to launch. When we were solved by Google, we had a limited amount of money, funding at $35 million. When I was a kid, my dad gave me a small loan of a million dollars, so I feel their pain. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we had a relatively large team, and we only had a limited time period. We've been working on it for a long time, and the people are exhausted. We felt like it was time to make an impression. So basically, the reason why Pokemon Go dropped Pokemon Go before they should have dropped Pokemon Go is because they had funding and pressure from behind to get the game out and it was summer by the way so they kind of had to release the game over summer that was just the best way on a marketing business standpoint and you could only imagine how complicated this game is as basic as the concepts in the game are the game itself is extremely complicated it took years to conceptualize this game and then turn it from an idea into reality it took this team the Niantic team a very very long time to make this game what it is today so I can see why they'd be tired and kind of just want to like push the game out it makes sense also if you guys remember the Japan Lapras event that happened 
happened because there was an earthquake that hit Japan. So they increased the lap response to increase tourism to help the rebuild of that area. Now there's a Snorlax event happening in Japan in the same area. And unfortunately it starts next week and I will not be able to go to that again because I will be going to PAX in Boston next week. But if you are in Japan, expect an awesome Snorlax spawning everywhere event. And that's the majority of the news for today's video. Now let's go back home because I'm sweating my balls off in my car because it's super hot today. And let's recap everything exciting that we talked about today. Okay, let's give a brief summary of everything we talked about this video. The next major quarterly update in Pokemon Go will be a PvP, possibly PvP, gym battle and overall battle focused update. We don't have any specific details on exactly what it's going to be, but we do know it's going to be PvP and gym battle related. But it will introduce a competitive aspect to the game and a group aspect to the game. And it will create more incentive for people to want to go out and do battles. Trading is now officially a confirmed thing in Pokemon Go. Not exactly sure when it's coming. I'd probably say the later months of the year, the fourth quarter update, but it's coming this year. John Hankey and Niantic are working a lot harder on taking out spoofing and hacking in Pokemon Go. They're really, really focusing that. So hopefully they come onto YouTube and notice this is where it's coming from. We need to hashtag make Pokemon Go great again. And we start by banning the clickbaiters and the hackers. Also, John Hankey hinted at the possibility of legendaries, including Mew and Mewtwo, coming out in 2017. Which means a humongous global event is gonna have to happen for these legendaries, and that is gonna be insane. And yeah, that's pretty much everything we talked about in today's video. Very, very, very exciting stuff. Let me know everything that ran through your head during this video, all your thoughts, opinions, what you guys wanna see in the updates, what you guys think is gonna be coming. Let me know down below because we'll have some discussions about it. But that was today's very, very exciting video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment down below your predictions and thoughts and everything else. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.